Record-breaking heat waves in northwest India and Pakistan are a hundred times more likely because of climate change. That's according to a Met Office study. Temperatures once predicted to happen every 300 years could now be experienced three times a decade. Pakistan and India have suffered extremely high temperatures recently, as our South Asia correspondent Yogi Talimai reports. Outdoors in northern India is like the inside of an oven. This work is never easy, but during a heat wave, it can be life-threatening. Dozens have died of heat stroke across India, but millions of workers cannot afford to stop. Chandan Bhuya has traveled 800 miles from home for this job. We face a lot of problems. The skin all over our body burns, and sometimes we feel like we might faint, he says. But we have no choice. We have to work to earn. Heat waves are not uncommon in South Asia. But this year, they started earlier than usual and have been more harsh and frequent. In Pakistan, temperatures are touching 50 degrees in some parts. This area of Punjab province is facing a severe drought, putting lives and livelihoods at risk. Mir Lal has moved away from his village to find food and water for his cattle. I had 35 to 40 cows. About 15 of them died because there was no water. I suffered huge losses. So I have now moved to another village, but it's parched here as well. Climate change could cause such extreme weather once every three years instead of 300 years, experts have warned. Barely any part of the region has been spared from these changes in weather patterns. Here in the west of India, not only are we seeing higher temperatures during the summer, but during the rainy season for the past few years, we've seen cyclones hitting this coast, which is extremely unusual. And many climate experts say that's because surface temperatures of the sea are rising. Hundreds of miles from the coast, this is the Indian state of Assam. Heavy rains arrived early and with more ferocity than normal. People used to seeing floods each year found themselves unprepared. River waters are expected to rise further. This country has a lot of experience saving people from natural disasters. But it now finds itself battling on too many fronts. Yogita Lemay, BBC News, India.